All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're gonna be showcasing the newest Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakening on Global, the AGL Super Vegito. Now, I've heard some pretty interesting conversation out there about this guy, specifically people saying that he's disappointing, he's one of the worst EZAs we've ever seen, and he's overall just not that good. Now, to those people, all I gotta say is, you're wrong. You're just straight up wrong. I mean, <laughs> that's the honest truth, man. I think the only reason some people might see him as a disappointment is because we as a collective community had hyped up this EZA to such an insane level before it came out that it was impossible for him to actually meet it. You know, like some people were actually expecting him to once again be the best unit in the game just like he was when he first came out and obviously bandai wasn't going to do that they weren't going to allow that to happen but some people still were expecting it and for that reason i think it was really unfair to agl super vegeto because he ended up being really really amazing but everybody just focused on the fact that he wasn't as broken as they wanted him to be so anyways He's still amazing, he's definitely one of the best TURs in the game, definitely one of the best easy A's we've ever had, and uh, if you're one of those people that thinks he's bad or disappointing or whatever, hopefully this video can convince you to see things my way. Alright, so that's all I gotta say, I apologize for rambling, but it was just something I had to get off my chest, and uh, let's quickly take a look at the details for this guy before we jump into the gameplay. Starting with his leader skill, he gives AGL types key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His super attack causes immense damage and raises allies' attack by 35% for one turn. And his passive is attack and defense plus 40% within the same turn. He takes an attack and is able to foresee enemy super attack when HP is 40% or less. And finally, damage received from normal attacks, minus 80%, and counters with tremendous power. So those are the easy A details for AGL Super Vegito. And as you can see, we're running a Patara team with the legendary Goku event. So let's uh, link him up here with the LR Vegito. We have the support from the Supreme Kai of Time. He's starting off with 146,000 and 85 attack and 53,543 defense. And I'll just give him one orb here, that's all he needs. And let's see what this guy can do. So we're taking an attack in the beginning and an attack um, after. So we're getting the attack boost here, counter for about 338k, all right. And the super is 2.1 million, 2.1 mil. And we're getting super here, that's not gonna be pretty. This is not going to be pretty. Okay, 91k. There we go. So, <laughs> one thing I will admit is that even after the EZA, uh, AGL Super Vegito still cannot take a super. And it hasn't really changed from before. Obviously, he can take super attacks better than he used to because he has more defense. And he also gets an additional 40% defense after taking an attack. But that being said, he's still not very good when it comes to tanking supers. And you do have to be extra careful about that. But, um... The great thing, of course, is that as part of his passive, he also gets, uh, what is it? He gets the ability to foresee super attacks now when below 40% HP. So that will save you on a lot of occasions where you're at low HP and you could potentially be getting a super like incoming and you're able to see where that super is. So it can move the AGL Vegito out of the way and use one of your tanks to take the super. So I really like that. I just wish that it wasn't such a you know, low restriction, right? Like 40% is, it's kind of hard to get to. Like you're either, you're either above that or a lot of times, like if you're at that point, you might just die. Like, I don't know, it's it's kind of hard to be below 40% HP and not die. You know what I mean? So um, the only gripe I would have about that um, part of this unit, that like design of this unit is that I wish they would have made it like 60% or even 50% would have been much better. 40% is a little bit low. All right, so that's my one gripe about him. All right, here we go. 216K for the for the counter there. 100, or sorry, 1.5 mil for this super without the support. 1.3 mil crit. And of course, as I said, he also boosts the attack 
of the rotation and 35% attack is no joke. So the rest of the rotation is going to hit much harder because of this Vegito. So you can almost think of him as kind of like an offensive support unit. Like 35% is a very, very good attack boost, guys, for sure. And one thing you guys might be thinking is why isn't he bringing the AGL um, Super Vegito with the Fizz Vegito Blue? Because that rotation is probably insane. And I'll tell you right now, it is an insane rotation. Um, the damage they output with their supers, but also, of course, the counters is just ridiculous, man. It's just so, so crazy. But the reason I didn't bring them together here is because for this initial showcase, I kind of want to keep the focus on the AGL Super Vegito. And I just feel like having the Fizz Vegito Blue would take away some of the spotlight from this guy. So today's video is just gonna be about this dude. And we got a nice crit counter there, 635K, almost 2 million for the super here. And uh, in tomorrow's video, expect it very soon, we'll be doing a showcase of the double EZA Vegito, which by the way, I just wanna point out, is currently a global exclusive rotation. All right, now, of course, eventually, It'll be available on JP2, but currently the Fizz Vegito EZA is only exclusive to global. And when you're a global player and you're used to things not necessarily going your way, you'll take any small victory you can get, man. So big shout out to my global players, my global fans or viewers, subscribers. And uh, we got this one. <laughs> we got this one. Um, yeah, super excited for that rotation tomorrow, that video tomorrow. Stay tuned for sure. Um, but as you can see, man, Vegito even by himself, the Super Vegito here by himself is super, super impressive. I mean, if you compare this to what he used to do with his supers, he used to literally get like, I want to say 500k or so for his regular supers and then his counters would be like 100 to 200k. This dude now is getting up to 2 million for his supers, counters up to, as you can see, 300k, 400, 500k, depending on um, if he had supered already, and so on and so forth. And uh, he's just doing some crazy, crazy damage. Look at this, crit counter, crit counter. Another one, another crit counter, 700k each time, 2.16 mil for the super attack, just ridiculous, man. 1.6 mil and an additional super, 2.27 mil. Yo, <laughs> anybody that says he's not good, yo, back-to-back -back crit counter too. Anybody, or sorry, not crit, crit counter, back-to-back -back crit super. Anybody that says he's not impressive is lying to themselves. All right, usually I'm pretty cool with people's differing opinions. I'm like, hey, yo, like, think whatever you want. It's, it's, it's your call. But I think in this situation, objectively, this guy is amazing, and uh, I just I just don't understand people that say he's not good. I mean, maybe people are trolling me, because I had a couple of people actually that seemed pretty serious about the fact that they thought he was not that good. I'm gonna skip this let's skip this turn because I'm kind of scared that uh, the Vegito here will die. So <laughs> we're just gonna be extra safe. I want to see some more of the AGL Vegito. Um, but yeah, there were some people on the stream today that when I, when I was farming the AGL Super Vegito that seemed pretty serious about the fact that they thought he was not that good. And I don't get it. I really don't. Oh my god, yo, look at Tech Vegito showing off here. Almost 4 million for his super, holy crap. I almost for, I'll always forget how, how crazy Tech Vegito Blue is, which is how ridiculous they made him. This guy, I mean, if you think about it, if each super, like he can get up to four supers, if each super was 4 million, that's 16 million attacks that Oh my god. Anyways, focus is on this guy right here. Don't get sidetracked. And uh, let's let, let's just pray that one of these attacks is not a super because uh, that's 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 gonna be pretty bad. That's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least we're still taking almost no damage. <laughs> for the regular attacks as i said guys all right i did never i never claimed that he was good at tanking super attacks now he is still terrible terrible at tanking super attacks so uh be, be safe with him all right be, be very cautious with him when it comes to a situation where he can potentially take a super like right there like i, I kind of had a feeling i kind of thought it was coming 
But I was just like, whatever, man, it's gonna be okay. He'll still survive. And look at that, he did survive. Look, before the EZ8, that would have been certain death. All right, that would have been 100% guaranteed KO for us. That would have done like 500,000 damage. But because we had the additional defense this time, we survived. We survived. So, you know, it could be worse. Okay, we're definitely gonna Ghost Usher this turn as well. Actually, I probably should have Ghost Usher. Uh, Ghost Usher. I probably should have popped like a defense item or something like that, right? Yeah, that's uh, that was dumb of me. My bad. Uh, next turn, we can actually token attack. So I think what I'm gonna do probably is like pop an Icarus or something. Uh, Icarus, Whis, whatever. Oh, actually, I don't have to. He's dead. All right. So now we're on the Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, I forgot we had we had the fusion. I, I was looking forward to actually seeing the super attacks, but now we're gonna heal back to full. So that's too bad. Well, all right. Well, anyways, we're still gonna get the token attack here, so that's good. Oh, we still get the um, we still get the super attack, super attack for seeing ability. Because as you can see, even though we healed back to full, because we started the turn below 40% HP, we still get that part of his passive to activate first before the LR Vegito healed us back up. So now we're at full health and we also can see super attacks, which is at the very end, which will probably kill the Int Goku, which I'm okay with, because at this point we've seen plenty. So we're just gonna leave it as is. Um, and if we die, we die. Not a big deal. All right. So we got a bunch of normal attacks here. Uh, 323K, 649K. Um, regular counter is not doing much damage because his defense is very, very high at this point. As you can see, 36k, yeah, not, nothing special. Um, okay, that's fine. Here is the Doku. Oh, no, actually, one more counter. A nice crit counter for good measure. And let's focus on getting this Doku attack perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got it. Boom. All right, there we go. So let's see how much this does. Uh, 2.3 mil. 2.3 mil. I think that's a new high. I think that's a new high for uh, for this video, actually. Yeah. Okay, give me a crit. Give me a crit. 3.2? Oh my god, 3.2? And then additional 2.4 mil? Oh, jeez. That's wild. That was wild. Now, unfortunately, the second um, super did not crit. Um... But yeah, that was still a lot of damage. You factor in the supers, you factor in the counters. We did a whole lot of damage that turn. This this could be it for us. I think this might be GG for this showcase. No, we survived. Okay, that's pretty impressive. That's that's actually pretty impressive. Um, so we're just gonna keep going in this video until we die, essentially. Um, I don't know exactly when that's gonna be. It could be this turn, it could be next turn. But uh, we're just gonna keep going. I don't usually... Uh, finish the event in these showcases, but at the same time, like this team is doing so well that I kind of wanted to see how far it goes without items. Like, can we actually clear it? Maybe with no items, with two supports on rotation that are taking a bajillion damage. If that happens, that would be amazing. Um, that actually happened with the Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening showcase, and uh, that was a sure sign that that dude is ridiculous, right? That dude is freaking broken, but we already know that. I almost swore by accident, my bad. I caught myself though, I caught myself. Okay, so now we're on STR UI. And this is probably where we die actually, because I think um, if we take a super at the end with Supreme Cap time, that there's no way she's surviving that. There's no way she's surviving that. So we'll, we'll see what the Dokkan gods decide to do for us. Um, Mm, so not too much damage, unfortunately. Crit counter, 749k. 749k with the crit counters. That's that's pretty nice. And almost 2.2 million. Just under. Just under 2.2 mil there. 1.8 mil crit. Oh my god, he's crazy. 421k, 300k, no crit. Okay. So damage output has been through the roof, man. What I was, what, I, what was I telling you guys? What was I telling you guys, man? Anybody that doubted him, you need to stop right now. You need to stop right now. He is one of the hardest hitting TURs in the game, no question. Top five, maybe. Um, he's gotta be around there, it's like top five. I think when he first came out, like when the EZA first dropped on JP, he was actually like the second hardest TUR in the game. 
Um, but now we got some like really crazy broken guys like Fizz Vegito Blue, for example. His EZA hits harder than this guy, but um, you know, he's still, I think, in the top five. So, yeah, like. <laughs> I will dispute anybody who says this is not a good EZA. I will fight anybody that says, like, not physically, like, verbally, obviously, because we're not about the physical violence, but um, <laughs> I will fight with words anybody that says this guy is not good, because it just makes no sense to me. And there we go, we're dead. Oh, we're still alive, and now we're, oh, we're still alive. Whoa, we're definitely dead here. There's no way this guy's surviving, but oh, before that, let's do a bunch of crazy, crazy supers just to show people how good we still are. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what a way to end the video. What a way to end the video. There you go. And another one. Four supers. Yo, you rarely see that. You're like, that's technically in theory possible, but you never see that. Is Goku gonna, do Goku's gonna dodge this too? We're still alive. Wow. Okay, this is meant to be. This is meant to be. And now we can foresee the super attacks. As I said, I'm not using any items, so this is definitely where we die. But uh, fortunately, we're not gonna die with the AGL Vegito because he's not gonna take any damage from the normal attacks. Um, it's probably gonna be Tech Vegito at the end that gets us killed. So yeah, guys, that is gonna be the showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about AGL Super Vegitos. Extremes the Awakening, you already know my thoughts, you already know my opinion, ridiculous, amazing, so good, so, so, so good, so, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, and this is where we die, this is where we die, I'm okay with that, we made it pretty far without using any items with two supports, so, that is the AGL Super Vegito Extremes the Awakened Showcase for the global side, and uh, expect the double EZA Vegito Showcase sometime tomorrow. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Just, ha just have all these counters flying everywhere. It's going to be amazing. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.